The N3 toll concession says arsonists fled the scene after torching the trucks. It says that the area has been secured and the fires have been doused. Northbound traffic heading to Johannesburg is being stopped at the Tugela Plaza, while the southbound traffic heading to Durban is stacked at the top of the Farenens Pass. For the latest update on the N3 blockade, we are now joined by our SABC News reporter, uh, Vusi Kumalo. Vusi, good morning and thank you so much for making time for us. The KZN Road Traffic Inspector at uh, Zintlem Gomez Zulu also standing by with you there. What does she have to say about the situation? Yes, uh, the situation remains calm, yet uh, it's very risky uh, for the motorists as well as the truck drivers who are stacked up at the Fan Renan's Pass uh, just before you go to uh, to Kela um, uh, uh, Toll Plaza if you are coming from Gauteng uh, but there are also some diversions uh, from the uh, uh, Ultra City at Escorts that's where the traffic is being diverted but where we are now here this is a uh, yes uh, Fan Renan's Pass as I'm stepping out of the shot so that you can see clearly what is really happening here um, this is one of the six trucks uh, that have been uh, burned or set alight allegedly by the arsonists. Uh, we're told that by the police uh, who have verified information that there were apparently a group of men who were armed uh, to the teeth uh, who then stopped these trucks. As you can see, this is a very steep, uh, it's very strategic uh, for some of the uh, attackers uh, to attack the truck trucks because the road is very steep so you will expect the trucks to drive very slowly so that's when uh, this arsonist then uh, pounced on these truck drivers uh, banning six of them here but in Guazul Natal uh, there are seven trucks uh, that have been uh, uh, burnt or set alight uh, as of uh, late last night uh, because we are told that the seventh truck uh, was at uh, Ingoko, uh, that's on the N11, as you go past Newcastle uh, to Fall Crust. Uh, at the moment, uh, police did tell us that uh, no one has been arrested yet, but they are following up some leads uh, that will result in the apprehension of the people who are behind uh, this uh, arson uh, that took place here. Yeah, we are told that the amount or, or the costs of the um, of the burning of these trucks amounts to uh, from 18 to 60 million rand. As I'm asking now, uh, Zintlam Gomizulu from the RTI here in the province of KwaZulu Natal, just to give us a lowdown as to what's really happened here. With more information uh, coming from Zintlam Gomizulu, thanks a lot for your time. Um, we, we can see that a number of trucks have been burnt. This has been a long-standing issue of the trucks, especially from uh, Moi River. What can you tell us about what has ha happened now? Okay, um, in the early hours uh, of this morning, or shall I say, at about uh, midnight, I received a call to say there were two trucks that were torched uh, where I'm standing, which is this area at Fandrinen Pass. And upon investigation, we established that it's actually, it's actually more than uh, six tra uh, two trucks that were, were, were banned. And then upon uh, investigation uh, to wa from one of the drivers, um, which was the first truck that were, which is the driver of the first truck that was banned, uh, we established that, or we find out that there was actually a uh, Toyota Venture that was also traveling with them north. A driver tried uh, to avoid it, however, they managed to um, shoot uh, the, the, the vehicle and fortunate enough, uh, drivers were not shot. Uh, we did find cartridges on the area and uh, the, after that, they managed to throw uh, petrol uh, we also found the container here on the scene. We, they, we managed to, they managed to run away actually without uh, being hurt. Six trucks were torched and uh, the damage here, I can tell you, uh, Vusi, uh, it, it's quite huge and uh, I believe it's going to be a hell of the amount uh, to try and 
and sort this uh, infrastructure out. And we say um, trucks are making the wheels of the economy move. However, in this case, uh, it means the economy has been delayed due to the fact that when you look at um, uh, Free State, our colleagues from Free State has just closed the road. They just put the trucks uh, to a standstill. Actually, all the traffic has come to a standstill. However, at um, Escort, as you drive past Ultra City, there is a diversion that has been done by RTI KZN, that is Midway. They are taking the R103 uh, to join UN11 via Lady Smith City. Thereafter, they will join R74 and back to the freeway that side. Okay. If you can tell us about the recovery as well as the cleanup operations that are taking place and also perhaps when are we likely to see uh, the traffic being cleared? Uh, like I have mentioned that it took uh, 12 hours uh, for the whole uh, process uh, to be done. We are going to give it almost an hour now for it uh, to open. However, in as much as they are going to open, they're not going to open both bounds. They are going to open the southbound, whereby traffic will be ch sharing those two lanes because of the extent of the damages on the other bound. And also, what can you tell us about the people who have uh, done this? Are there any arrests so far? Uh, oh, SAPS uh, um, Van Rinen can tell us more about that. And I'm not even too sure if, if drivers of the truck managed to even take the number plate of that, um, uh, what's the name of the vehicle, um, Eventure, Toyota Adventure. If they did, maybe they were going to be kind of an investigation to ensure exactly who did this. Okay, and also about, uh, give us an, an update as to what really is happening now on the N11 because we're told that there was another truck uh, that was set alight. Okay, um, two hours after the message uh, came through to say there were six trucks that were burnt at Van Rinen, I received, an, I received another call to say another truck on the N11 near Ingoko was also torched, but it was the only one that was traveling there. Uh, during the time I guess however now the road has been open to traffic that's why we are diverting traffic to the N11 uh, do, do you think perhaps uh, these two incidents are perhaps related and also what could be the motive of these attacks on, on the on the truck drivers I wouldn't know the motive because um, I'm not the <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the part of this plan. I wouldn't know seriously the motive behind uh, banning all these trucks. However, uh, the matter is being under investigation. Thanks a lot for your time. Sure. Yeah. Uh, that's uh, Zintlem Gomezul. As I'm stepping out so that you can see uh, the damage on the truck, it's one of the six trucks. Uh, they are found dotted here on the entry uh, Van Rinen's Pass that is also here in KwaZulu Natal. Uh, this is one of the main uh, uh, transport corridor, a key corridor in the province of KwaZulu Natal that is linking uh, the two the most important uh, economic hubs that is Houting as well as the Durban Harbour because a number of trucks, about 7,000 trucks commute on this are uh, use, uh, using this uh, N3 on a daily basis, 7,000. That must tell you that a number of, I mean, a, economically speaking, this is one of the biggest and one of the key, I mean, transport node in, in, in the South African economy and is very, very important. As you can see, a number of I mean, trucks uh, have been held up at Van Rinian's Pass. There's no one who's going through and there's only a diversion that is taking place uh, southbound at, uh, as Zintle told us, that it was a, there's a, a diversion that is taking place at Escort area. As I'm asking our Spusiso Matebula, just to show you that uh, the road is being uh, cleared up, uh, as you can see, uh, it's also some of the trucks are now starting to move uh, this wreckage of the truck 
uh, that says being uh, banned. As you can see, a number of workmen are here in order to ensure, to ensure that, as they just did say, that in an hour's time from now, that's around just before one, they will be able to clear up at least one lane so that uh, so, uh, the trucks and also some of the motorists that are stuck here on the road are able to use at least one lane and there will be a lot there are also a lot of traffic personnel uh, that is also manning here and i must also tell you from uh, all the way from pisa Marisbeck, uh, up to here where we are there are stationary vehicles of the traffic at every exit point in order to ensure that uh, people do follow uh, ro the road rules and also there's nothing sinister uh, that is taking place. I must also tell you that there are also public order policing units uh, that is also here in order to ensure that there is safe. Uh, people are also uh, being safe. The area is being secured as there are police manning this road to ensure that everyone is safe and sound. As I'm stepping out of the shot, this is what they called a uh, cold mix, a uh, patching up because the road has been burnt. As we had since them that there's been uh, a few cartridges uh, that was found on the ground, but police are investigating, even though this is still preliminary, but they are doing some investigations in order to ensure that they do find those who are responsible uh, for the arson uh, that took place as just before 1 a.m. Uh, this morning, uh, Aldrin. Is it known where the truck drivers are? Uh, as we are going towards um, escorts, we saw a number of trucks having uh, stopped or parked uh, their fleets or trucks along um, escorts. That's where we were. We were we also interviewed just a few of them, even though they were very afraid to speak on camera. But they were saying that it is very risky. They are saying each and every day they are risking their lives, especially when using the N3 uh, because they are being targeted. They say that they are being targeted, especially using the N3 route. They are also, they've also called on police to ensure that uh, they also here on a daily basis to ensure uh, their safety and also uh, con raise concerns about the delays mm. of the cargo they are carrying, saying that some of the stuff that they are carrying um, it could, is very inf inflammable. Uh, it's, it's very it's also inflammable so so it's very difficult for them to drive through not knowing as to where maybe they will be attacked along the road so they are also calling on law enforcement authorities to also protect them along the road they're saying they should be here uh, 24 7 to ensure for their uh, safety uh, that is also raising those concerns that uh, they are very worried about their i mean about their life saying that it's very risky to using uh, the N3 route, especially as well as other routes as well as we've heard earlier on about the truck that was banned at uh, Ingogo, that's N11, that's also one of these roads, this one is also connects uh, four provinces, the N3 is connecting Gauteng, uh, Kwasul Natal, Mpumalang as well as the Free State, so it's one of the most uh, a key uh, or critical uh, transport <coughs> node. Uh, in the country of South Africa, linking those uh, four provinces, including the two economic hub, uh, that is Johannesburg and also uh, the Durban Harbour. As uh, a number of, I mean, uh, trucks at the moment, uh, they, we saw them being diverted and also being parked at uh, escort uh, uh, truck stop. And some of them are being taken on R103 uh, so that they, call, they can go via Beckville and also uh, ensure for their, I mean, uh, to, to go to their destination in Johannesburg and other provinces. And there are police down there. It is only us as SAPC News that were able to maneuver through with the help of the traffic police who were also gave us some accompany, uh, they also uh, accompanied us uh, to, uh, to find Greenland's Pass where we are now.